We're going to be talking today about letting go. Now, it's important to understand that the past is in the past. It is over. The past is dead. It doesn't exist anymore. Now, if we keep on thinking about the past, what we're doing is we're spoiling our here and now, which then in turn can spoil our future. So very, very important to leave the past where it is and concentrate more on the here and now. What we're going to do is we're going to be speaking to you about this uh, more uh, in this uh, episode. So let's uh, first cue it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Unplugged. My name is uh, Sohail Hashmi. It is an honor and a pleasure to be here with you uh, today to talk to you about uh, the subject. It's a subject that I'm sure we all have gone through. Some of us are going through it now. I have lapses of going back into it, but I keep on reminding myself that uh, it's more important uh, to be in the present. One of the first things I'm going to talk about in this, it's very uh, imperative for us to realize that we are not who we were five years ago, three years ago, one year ago, um, even yesterday. Certain things have happened in our life, certain evolvements or evolving has happened in our life that has made us who we are today and we will keep on learning till the end. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more, I don't know after that. But uh, we are going to keep on learning and we're going to keep on um, evolving. So it is important for us to learn that maybe some of the ideas we had three years ago may be different now. We may have no point of view on it or we may have an opposite or a different point of view on that uh, subject. So we have to give ourselves space to evolve and for us to allow that to happen, we have to let go of certain things that have been hindering us or certain pieces of baggages we've been carrying on our shoulders. So remember, we ourselves are also changing and we are not who we were many, many years ago. We've changed, hopefully, for the better. And every single day, every single minute, moment presents us with a new opportunity to look at new things and to hopefully go forward. It's, it's you know, if you, if, you, if you think about the past, you're in pain. If you think about the future, uh, you know, you're in anxiety. So the best uh, way to be is, is to be in the present and move forward from there. I remember the saying of the great leader, Nelson Mandela, uh, as he wrote, as he was leaving the prison for where he'd been for 27 years. And uh, he wrote that I'm, I'm heading towards the gates of freedom. But if I remember or take along the bitterness of all these years with me, then I will not be free. I will still be in prison. And what a great uh, saying that is. And he did exactly that. Uh, and he came and he ruled South Africa. And very well. Because he took away that bitterness from his mind and from his heart. And started from the second where and when he had to start. If you're constantly pulling yourself down for the mistakes you made in the past or somebody else made in the past, it's not going to help you in the future. Yes, it will help if you maybe think about it for one or two seconds, learn from it and move on. Trick is you have to move on because that's what life is all about. One of the other things I find which seems to be a problem that when something terrible has happened or when someone has been mean to you or when you think that a wrong has been done to you, maybe it has, maybe it hasn't, or there's a different side of the story, we wait for an apology. So we're sitting there waiting, the person's going to apologize and only then will I so uh, don't wait for the apology, because if you wait for the apology, what that is doing is that is stopping your own healing process because you have to heal. So you have to heal yourself from it. If you get an apology, great, it's a bonus. If you never do or you get it in three or four years time or the whole scenario situation uh, changes for that, good. But remember, your healing process is, uh, is more important than having to wait time uh, for your righteousness and uh, waiting for that uh, apology. Heal first, let it go. I'm sure you've heard the saying that uh, when one door closes, uh, another door opens. In fact, in certain beliefs is when one door closes, about 11 doors um, open for you. So it's, it's important uh, to keep that uh, in mind in our daily life. It's a bit of a cliche and we say, yeah, yeah, we've heard that before, but 
it really, it really does work. I hope that this episode has been uh, useful to you. If it, if it has, please do uh, like it, uh, subscribe and share. If you feel that some of your friends could benefit uh, from this or uh, they could get something out of it, please do, do of course, share it with them. It's all about sharing and caring. And if, again, more important, if you have had any situations like this where you weren't able to let go or you were able to let go, please do let me know about your uh, situations or, or what happened uh, in, the, in the comments uh, below. It'll be good because it, it helps us all and it gives me more ideas of other videos that I can do that may be of help and may be of uh, service to you. I will see you in the next episode. Uh, in the meantime, happiness and joy to you and to your loved ones.